Today is October 31st. Halloween is upon us, and I can't think of a better thing to do today than to play through the Haunted PS1 Demo Disc 2021. And I think I'm gonna do it on a CRT. So first and foremost, I absolutely need to shout out the Haunted PS1 Itch.io. This is where you're going to be able to find all this stuff. If you didn't know that already, maybe you're watching a video from my channel and you didn't specifically look this up. If you want more after this, there's Haunted PS1 Demo Disc 2020. This is the whole page, but this is the one we're going through. So let's go through it. Look at this. So sick. Demo Disc 2021. 25 playable demos so there is a lot of stuff to go through here and they all kind of have their own individual pages that you can go and check out and here are some of the screenshots that go along with it there is a way to pick these freely or there's kind of like an experience you can go through and jump into it it is only on windows this is of course not actually on the playstation one this is all using modern game engines so you're not going to be able to do that. But if you have a PC, you could play through it. There's even a little manual booklet and uh, some press kit stuff you can go through if you want to. But enough of that. Get this downloaded and get ready to check it out on a freaking CRT. Now, you are watching this on the CRT, but I do actually have this being fed into my RetroTink 5X. And I will show you that now. And I even have scan lines turned on too so i'll show you how it looks just straight up actually let's go ahead and we should jump in to the actual disc now there is free play i haven't played this before so i don't know the process of going through everything i don't know if i should be doing free play i'm not going to sit here and play through all of them there's like 25 but i'm going to kind of show off some stuff mostly the tech not really showcasing my skill or anything but yes yeah, so you can see it on the crt right now looks pretty great i did do a little bit of a fancy setup which i'll run you through so for you kids following along at home we have a computer that plays the games and has an hdmi cable that goes out of it that hdmi cable happens to hook up into my hdmi converter then we have the tv hi you can't really see back there, but the cables plug into the TV, and I also have a split, so it goes into there, this dark and spooky place where the retro tink lives. This thing is like impossible to pick up on camera, by the way. <laughs> and there you go, that's it. The VCR has uh, literally nothing to do with it. So obviously, playing on a CRT is awesome. This is probably the easiest way to go about doing this. You can buy the scaler for like 20 bucks. If you already have a computer, plug it into a CRT, which you may be able to get for free, and uh, have a great time. Now, if you want to be able to play this on a modern display and have this really cool effect, which I'm going to run you through, you would want something like the RetroTINK 5X, which unfortunately is kind of expensive and hard to find. But if you have one, or maybe you want to, uh, I don't know, ask for one for Christmas or something, <laughs> then I'll go ahead and I'll run you through all that is so cool. So I just have it set up, no scan lines right now, and I'm going to cycle through. And as you can see, this is like, this gives some vibes. This is exactly how I would want to play this. If I didn't have the luxury of having the space for a CRT, or I just wanted to not play it on a CRT if I wanted to record it like I'm doing right now then this is certainly a great way to do it it matches the look really really well so I'm going to swap over to Aperture Grill is my favorite if you want to know more about the Retro Tink and some of these settings I went through I have videos on them go check them out but uh for now you know I'm just gonna run through this and uh and see what's up I think so I do believe there's 25 demos. I don't know if I'm actually going to play through all of them. Like if that's the setup, it's, I 
thought I played the one they did last year, but I don't really remember it very well, so I guess we're just kind of going to walk through and see what all happens. Hopefully, this is pretty cool seeing on the CRT. I don't know how much I should be showing of the CRT and how much I should be cutting back to the retro tink. If you guys have a preference, please let me know because I really want to show off more like modern games both put on a CRT or just looking like they're put on a CRT like this right here. So please, if you have a preference for either or if you think that I should legitimately just have both in one video like I'm going to have on this and I'll kind of be swapping back and forth between then uh you know hit me up with that information i have no idea what the controls are okay we're in a building i guess that was a loading screen yeah i hit e and i was like did i just accidentally go to the main menu oh no way okay i understand what this is welcome friend Yes, no way, this is so cool. Is this like a hub? Lose yourself in them. May never leave this place. Oh, okay. One more thing. <laughs> Please do not die in the museum. You know, I think that's a reasonable request. Let's go ahead and walk around. I really hope that this is just a hub. Again, this isn't really about me going through the game it's mostly about just seeing all the cool aesthetic and looking at it on a crt oh, this is so nice i really love how modern engines make this look i really want people to make these retro filters that the retro tink does so well like just have it as a, a desktop app that you can throw on literally anything that would be so nice to be able to have like not to make it be game specific Ooh, look at that look at the the warping going on very ps1 like wow <laughs> but yeah just to be able to have this because i really think having the scan lines adds to this a lot there are some developers that do a really good job of having that and then there's some that uh seemingly know very little about it or don't care don't want to make it a priority don't know how to do it whatever like i believe the uh bloodborne demake has a bunch of like crt looks on it that's one that i know that i think looks good one that i'm going to throw under the bus not really throw under the bus it's still fine but one that i don't like that i'll point out is the uh zero Z zera myths awaken I think it's Zara. I, I don't actually know how to pronounce it. Anyway, it was a Spyro fan game turned into a uh, Spyro spiritual successor. I, uh, you know, I had a Spyro inspired game. I don't think we have like a, a title for that genre other than platformer, <laughs> right? I don't think we have a Metroidvania type setup for that. Enter password E. Oh no, E's not the password. I could have sworn it would be E. No, but um, <laughs> that's a game that has a weird, it has like an RCA, like really, it's like compressed color look to it for a filter that I don't really like, but you know, points for trying, I guess. And there very well may be a bunch of people who like it, so. You know, shout outs to trying, I suppose, but it's not really my jam. Oh, look at that. I forgot the, the creator of uh, Myths Awakens is... Uh, they have a game in here. Hello, Mason from the future here. In editing, I decided I would show what I was talking about because I, I felt bad because I wasn't trying to say that this looks bad or anything. It's not, it's just, it's not what I would go for. So this is the normal style right here. And here's like the uh, filter, if you will, that they throw on. This is classic. And this is really just like a, a bit crunch, like, data compression kind of look, not a scan line look, which I will show you. Like if you were just playing it with scan lines, it would look something similar to this. Whereas this is obviously a very different look and there's nothing wrong with that. And that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Also, I'll probably do a video just on this game, not specifically to point out the filters, but just because I think this game's really cool. Okay. Back to the spooky stuff. All right, let's uh, exit that book. 
What all else can we find? Am I supposed to be able to get to these games? Am I <laughs> like, I'm just kind of, you know, uh, soaking in the sun here, trying to figure out what is even going on. Oh, oh my God. There's a sprint. Uh, it, it was so I could uh, absorb the atmosphere more is why I wasn't sprinting. That's definitely it. And it's not because I am stupid. That would actually be rude if you said that. So so it's it's certainly not that. Oh, we have like a crosshair now. Oh, we're probably already on the ground floor. That's why it's red. God, this loading screen's so cool. It is kind of weird. Like, I don't know if there's all these loading screens because to have everything set up in a hub to be able to navigate to the different games that needs to be there, or if these are artificially put in. I'm assuming I can select these games and I can go through a few of the floors. There used to be, I remember a lot of demo discs used to have this setup, which I think is so cool. I don't, man, I feel bad. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know which one to go into. This one honestly is kind of grabbing my eye. Tori 3D, give me some info on this. Traverse through oversaturated 3D platformer levels. All right, I, I can't speak. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna read right now. Actually, really what I should do is I was talking about the one game. So I should probably go and find the game that I was talking about that I don't know the name of at all, but we can, uh, eh, you know, maybe the color doesn't mean anything. It's still red, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're on floor two now. Pathogen X. Some of these look so cool. I mean, I'm sure all of these are great. This. This is what I was looking for. Here we are. It's Halloween, and that means candy. Play as Peter, Sarah, and you know who made this? The person that works on Myths Awakens, which I was just uh, pointing out that I didn't like part of it that much. So we'll play that one because I feel a little bad. Uh, again, I still think that the filter is cool. It's just not what I want. Oh, what? This is sick. Oh, it boots up the game. You literally, <laughs> the CRT doesn't show it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to move the, the panel over. That's so funny. I'm just like, wait, why does that look different? I'm glad I noticed that before I started doing anything. Okay, I pulled it up here. Which, oh my God, that looks so sick. Haunted PS1. But is this gonna be in widescreen? I kind of don't really wanna play in widescreen. Kind of defeats the whole point. Ah. I don't know if it adapted to the resolution, but it looks good now. We want Pete or Sarah. I don't know. I have no idea if there's any meaningful difference. I also am not looking to sit here and like actually, uh, play through a ton <laughs> i'm mostly just wanting to show off all these different aesthetics and i i've been going on for a little bit now but i i don't think it's fair for me to just walk around the museum and then stop god this is so cool this is actually giving me more 64 vibes than ps1 this is making me think of like the uh, classic creep caper the scooby-doo game which is at a museum as well. I don't think they trick or treat though, but that would be cool. This very well could be actually inspired by like a very popular PS1 game and I just have no idea what I'm talking about. Do they have any filtering on this? I'm gonna turn off the scan lines and see what is going on here. Cause I'm, I'm definitely wondering if there's already something going on. Definitely already has a very compressed 
look to it, like I was saying that the uh, the other game had. It's not bad, but I don't. Hmm. It's like I I would rather just turn on my filters than this, but. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. I know. I, I literally was going to play this game to, to talk about, <laughs> to try to be nice. Uh, I, again, it's not like there's, there's nothing wrong with this. It looks good. Uh, so I really, I, I shouldn't be complaining. It looks really good. It looks really good. I really, I, I'm sorry if I made it sound like I didn't think this looks good. This still, this looks really good. I'm a big fan of this. Oh my God, the camera angles. That's so cool. That is really nice. It has very heavy uh, dithering effect on it. I, it doesn't necessarily really have a scan line look to it. It's stylized in a way that is not how, I, I guess what I was trying to say is this is stylized in a way that I don't personally remember the PlayStation 1, but I think that it fits the aesthetic of what they're going for. I think that this fits the feel, it has a good feel and narrative, even if it isn't exactly what I would have chosen if I was doing it, but that's fine. I mean, if anything, that makes it more unique, which you could say makes it better. Um, Wait, what? Okay, not doing that. Wait, but it said, okay, I swear I'm not stupid. Try getting rid of the chains instead, yes. But it doesn't seem like there's an option to get rid of the chains, so I probably have to try to go somewhere else and then double back. But you can't really get off the path, but it looks like there's a branching path. I've literally, I've already forgotten what I was doing because I was like <laughs> getting in my head about trying to not sound like an asshole. Oh, wait, what is this? Suspiciously similar rocks. Wow, look at these rocks. Why do these rocks look like rocks? I do love that they have Oh, and this like kind of uh, shimmers. I wonder what that does. I do really like that there are these uh, dialogue options that keep popping up. I think that's really fun. I wonder if this game is calibrated at all for overscan. I just realized you can see in the top, the HUD's kind of like getting chopped off. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same on the CRT. But I I definitely am curious if I use this with a different CRT, what difference it would make. Not all the rocks are real. How do I... Oh. Huh. That's how I find out. Cool. Okay, so I'm not actually going to sit here and go through everything. If you have anything specific you want me to go back and take a look at, by all means, please feel free to let me know. I will do an entire video on a specific game or whatever, but uh, it's kind of going on for a while and I'm just rambling on about me like eating candy. So I'm gonna stop. I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. Definitely make sure to check out this stuff. Linked below, I will have uh, all the hardware stuff. So the retro tink and the um, adapter that I'm using to be able to hook all this up. But Obviously, I'm going to have the, the haunted demo disc on there as well. So if you have not taken a look at them before, I definitely recommend that you take a look at them now. Get in to the, the festive spirit.